chakra purification asana practice, okay? But I just want to lay some groundwork. <clears throat> Your intention is very important. If you just go through the motions, like many of us sometimes go through life, you're not going to get the full experience that you could get while you're here. <clears throat> so really be here now and know that this day will be over very, very soon. And so really drink it up as much as you can. So if your intention, why you're here, that's why I had you write it, <clears throat> is super important. When you chant Bija Mantra, when you move into each chakra, when you visualize it, you visualize the relationship that's associated with it, and you're in the asana that stimulates that chakra, you've got to be with it <clears throat> like nothing else. Your attention is very key. So attention and intention go together. <clears throat> the sound that you will make by chanting the Bija Mantra is a very purifying sound. The lam, lam, lam. Bringing that vibration to that chakra, in that case the first chakra, is very, very important because there is nothing more potent than sound. Sound will purify and change your physical being faster than anything else. <clears throat> what you say, what you think, and what you do, all is vibration. So if you're filling your life up with a bunch of negativity, you are forming your body and your cells around that vibration. This is why it's important that when you are chanting those Bija Mantras, you are infusing that with love and blessings.
stuff, but if you, my friend, you've got some stuff to work out. <laughs> and let me tell you why I know and you don't. Please don't be that way. Because <laughs> we're all students, myself included. Any one of you can come up here and start talking. I can, I can actually just say <laughs> you back there, would you like to come up and just finish this off for us and say I'm good? I'm my friends, guys. Um, always keep in mind that this is an energetic flow, that I don't know more than you do. We just have forgotten. And we're all here together to remember that inner knowledge, that highest aspect. So don't be that person. I practice yoga. That person is so unenlightened. <laughs> In fact, I think I put on my Facebook page, there's a YouTube uh, video I put up. It just slayed me. It's all about all the things that yoga people say. How to be truly spiritual. Yes. yes. How to be truly spiritual. It's hysteric. You have to check it out. Write it down. <laughs> How to be honest. Namaste. 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 How to be truly spiritual YouTube. It's side splitting. I love anything that makes fun of like what I do. It just makes me fun. Okay, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Okay, let's talk about the first chakra. <clears throat> and what I have brought for you here is a little breakdown of the chakra as well as this beautiful little symbol, and you'll see all variations of these symbols that are called yantras. And there are these geometrical shapes that, for many people, when they look at them, can evoke a really deep meditative experience, or it's something that you can look at and meditate on and have a really deep, single-pointed, focused relationship with it, especially for those of us who are really hard time sitting and meditating. What's it called again? Ayantra. Y-A-N-T-R-A. And the first chakra is called Muladhara Chakra. Say that. Muladhara. Muladhara Chakra. D-H-A is Dha in Sanskrit. Muladhara. And chakra is not chakra. Chaktaks. This is a Chaktak. It's chakra. Chakra. If you want to be all authentic, chakra. <clears throat> and the bija mantra, the seed mantra, is lam, L A M. <clears throat> lam. The sense is smell, the element is earth. And I was trying to figure out a different word than demon. It just feels so like, oh my gosh. And I actually got this from um, the Wheels of Life book. The demon in this chakra is fear. What are you afraid of? The karmic relationship that corresponds to this chakra is earth, society, community, tribe, parents, job, money, survival, food, and safety. These are all your basic needs. Now someone had asked me a few years ago when I was doing this workshop, you know, where does guilt or shame reside? And according to the wheels of life, each chakra, we'll go through it, has a demon or an affliction, if you want to call it, or a, an emotional component. Um, I feel that fear could be in any of those chakras. It's not just that first one. And so my answer to, to her was, guilt and shame can appear in any of these chakras. So again, kind of keeping an open mind, keeping flexible about these things. So when you have unresolved issues, for example, because this is just an easy target, mom and dad, your standing awesomeness can be challenging. Your ability to balance, your ability to ground, your relationship with this planet. Are you doing all that you can to be in harmony with this planet? by the goods in which you purchase, the way in which you eat, how you live. 
are we doing the very best that we can with the tools that we have? Is there an unresolved uh, relationship with your job or with money? Do you not have enough money or feel like you never have enough? Or I often say a very controversial thing, or do you have too much money? Because I know a lot of people who have a lot of money who are very conflicted, unhappy, and unresolved around it. And those of you who have no money, you're like, what? <laughs> Let me figure out how I can be within that. I'll work it out for them. Do you have issues around survival? You know, how you grew up? Did you grow up in a, in a world where you were always needed to survive? Where it wasn't cushy? Where you didn't always know where your next meal was coming from? Where you're going to have clean clothes to wear? Where your parents are around? You know, some of those really base needs. Were you safe? Are you safe? Are you still in survival mode? And so you can see where fear can be a big piece here. So when you're practicing standing asanas, you can really start to connect the first chakra and the relationships that correspond to this chakra with how am I grounding today? How am I feeling? And just because you can rock out a series of standing poses or one-legged balances doesn't mean there's still not some unresolved issues. Because I'll tell you, if you stay there long enough, 